Hi guys, welcome back to Jenny JR Vlog and today we have an unboxing of the ABS Mage M. It's a pre pre-built PC. I know, I know I know I shouldn't do it. But uh I don't really know much about PCs and I'm pretty sure I, I could mess that up very quickly. But um yeah, today we're going with the Amazon Prime Day deal that I got on this. It was originally like 17 50 or eight, 1800 but with the Amazon Prime Day, we were able to get it for 13 almost 14 I don't really remember, plus tax. But basically, it has the 2070 Super in it, 9700K, only 16 gigabytes of RAM, but I'll be upgrading that. Uh, that's on its way as we speak. 512 gigabytes of SSD and... I'll be upgrading that too, come Cyber Monday. Uh, let's see what it looks like and let's find out my first thoughts on this product and if I would recommend it. Alright, so now we're going to open the box. <laughs> the unboxing of the Mage M. ABS Mage M. I never really, I've never heard of an ABS Mage M. I'm not sure if it's a no egg exclusive product. Uh, what struck me about this product was that it was on sale. <laughs> I mean, when you're looking at PCs, it doesn't really matter what's on the outside, right? It's what's in the inside that counts. These are like people, bro. But uh, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'm gonna start by showing you that the top part is the Rosewell manual. It's a quick user guide. So you already know how that goes. You know how that is. And I got played. This is nothing. That's just a box inside. Uh, let's go like, let's do this. I'm pretty sure this is the back part of the PC. So we're gonna do it like this, bro. Bam. <laughs> All right, time to pull this bad boy out. Like so. All right, so I can say that it is very well safe in there. There's a lot of uh, padding everywhere. This is the keyboard and mouse that it comes with. It illuminates everywhere, so I like that. It is the Gamdias Eris M1 Zeus E2. It's a gaming combo, okay. This is what it looks like. And now, the good stuff. The good stuff. So this is my second PC. The first one I bought was also pre-built by iBuyPower. Is this? It's the Gigabyte Z390 UD Ultra Durable Motherboard. Bro, I hope I don't have to install this myself because that ain't happening. <laughs> that ain't happening, bro. Or maybe it's just a box for the motherboard that's already inside the PC. Actually, let's find that out right now. Okay, good news. It, it's light. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not in there. Bam, bro, we're good. So this comes with a wireless nano USB-A adapter. Bro, I really don't know what this is. What is this? Wireless, is that for like a wireless mouse? And of course it comes with one of these things, you know, I know exactly what this is. This is a... Uh, um, this is a SATA, bro. SATA. SATA? Six gigabits transfer speed cable. I'm probably wrong there, too. 
All right, so the first thing, I know I know what this is, bro. This is for power. You know, you plug it into the back of the computer and you get a power. All right, so now at least I know what motherboard I have. When I was looking at the PC, I didn't know what motherboard was in it. This is the Z390. Once again, that's the motherboard in this bad boy. LGA1151. Uh, I don't know what that means. But at least I know that I can upgrade up to a 9th gen Intel core processor. Okay, so the chipset is Z390. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I know what that means also. But here we go. Top part off. Versace on the... Uh, take it out for me! For... Alright. Now to the good stuff. Bro. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Um, we'll add a picture of my current PC and then we'll compare it to this and we'll do a side by side and you can just compare the two. The current one I have, like I said, is the iBuyPower Trace 930. That one has a, like the 7700 in it. This cover for the top was off, but that's to be expected. This is just magnet. So this is what the PC looks like. It's a lot smaller than my uh, current PC. This is what the case looks like. I believe this is the Rosewill. Rosewill right there. It says it right there at the bottom. Rosewill something something something. That's what it's called. And uh, Okay, so here, here go some differences between this PC and my old one. On this one, I actually have three USB ports up here. It appears that there's one, I guess, regular 2.0 and two 3.0 or 3.x, I'm not sure, uh, USB port. So that's a plus because I play Tekken. So I need ports in the front for my controller, for my joystick, and I need one for my stream deck because I stream. And I also need one for, I don't really need the third one, you know, I'm just greedy. I just want more. <laughs> and uh, we also have a headphone jack. We have, I guess this is for the mic. Yo, that's pretty sick. Input maybe. I don't know what HMP stands for. I'm pretty sure you can't see it. Oh, okay. There's a button for the LED and a reset for the LED. And I'm guessing this is the power button. I'm not sure if you can see all that, but my uh, camera women should be zooming in like right here with the actual camera. All right, so we'll start at the top. So uh, at the very top, we have these two ports and I believe these are for keyboard and mouse. These have been around since like the 20th 1800s <laughs> it's been around forever it's very old i'm pretty sure i'm never going to use these ones but i am pleased to see that pretty much each usb port that i have back here are all 3.0 so this for higher data transfers so i like that uh there's an hdm what there's an hdmi up here now i'm confused i'm guessing this is like the n hdmi n maybe uh, and just your standard uh, audio sources and mic and I don't know what that is in again and just your usual display port all right so down here at the bottom that's the graphics card I believe so that is the 2070 uh, in there and it comes with three display ports one two three and one HDMI port so I believe this is out yeah so yeah can't wait to uh see what this bad boy is about bro as you can see there's a fan right here that's the rose will fan rgb i i believe it's uh it's led so that's sick i can't wait to see that all right now back now to the good stuff inside inside the pc uh i believe this is the the processor no i'm just kidding all right, we're gonna open this bad boy and see what it's about, bro. All
Alright. ABS quick start guide. Hopefully I won't have to call customer service. I should be alright, because I've done this before. And there goes all this stuff. All this stuff that I don't really know what it is. Uh, we'll start with, like I said, this is the graphics card. Um, this is some kind of cooling for the uh, for the 9700K, the i7-9700K uh, CPU that's in there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see back there, but this is the RAM. Uh, this Zeus or Z3390UD only comes with two slots for the RAM, but that's all I really need. I'm guessing it's some kind of deep cool. Is this what a heat sink looks like? I'm not sure, I think it is. So it's a giant fan that heats up the, the beast of the i7, i7 9700K beast that's in there. So yeah, uh, I was thinking about getting liquid cooling, but this fan looks like uh, it might just get the job done. I don't know if I'm gonna overclock this PC yet. It is the 9700K and I can overclock it if I want to. But yeah, right here at the bottom, you already know what it is. That's the RTX 2070. Uh, I might sell it once the, the the RTX 30 series become available. I mean, it's out now. It's just not really available anywhere. But I might sell this and upgrade to that when that becomes available. But for now, this will do just fine for everything I needed to do. So, so that's good. Um, if you look in there, it's for the RAM is, the SD RAM. And yeah, there's a fan back here, and I think there's three fans in here, and they all light up. So you know what a PC looks like, and <laughs> that's pretty much it. I'll get it booted, and I'll let you know what it looks like with the fancy smanchy LED lights on. Yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next vlog. Thank you guys for tuning in, and that's it for this quick unboxing and. Uh, I guess overview my first impressions well, I, I do like how it's uh it's not too big and bulky like my last PC and I like how it has more fans than my last PC this has one two three four fans not counting the fan for the CPU and the GPU so yeah we're in there y'all damn okay all right y'all I totally lied earlier when I said there was only two SD slots or RAM slots there's actually four total you can't see it but in between this space right here in between this space and this space there's two more uh, RAM slots in there let me see if I can get it you can barely see it but it's there bam unplasticking I'm plastic in this bad boy. All right. I've already forgot which how it goes on there. Let's just look. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, it's falling apart. The PC is falling apart. The part right here where the uh, the cover goes, the glass cover goes. It hella just fell off. See how these bottom ones have him? See? These right here, the circles. This one just fell off. <laughs> so that's not a good start. But I can tell it just wasn't screwed all the way in. So that's definitely not an issue. The issue is I have no freaking clue where it is. <laughs> I, I think I see it right there. Big, put them all in. It's over here. The camera can't see it, but it's like hiding in there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> So I was tripping the whole time, don't tell nobody. Damn, it's really gonna take that- Oh, once again, damn!
Girl, you feel the vibe.